Let's talk about the pop wind note. What this does is it takes the velocity of the particles and it tries to match that velocity with whatever we put here. So as an example, if I turn up this amplitude right here on the curl noise and I go ahead and press play, these points never really overshoot the value that I have right here, the length of the vector that's specified here by the amplitude. In other words, they all kind of stay the same speed consistently. If I was to, let's say, animate this amplitude down, watch what happens. We start at one, and then let's say this goes down to zero. What we'll notice is that the velocity is going to try to match that. What we'll notice is that things start off kind of fast, but then they slow down, trying to match the length of the velocity vector specified by the amplitude. So this is not what happens with the pop force op because the pop force op simply adds a force to the particle that makes it go faster and faster and faster. It's not trying to reach a specific goal velocity. Here, we do have a goal velocity. We have a speed that the particles want to be. Now, how quickly we reach this speed is going to be determined by the air resistance up here. The higher this gets, the faster the particles reach the goal velocity. So if I set that to 10, we immediately have this amplitude right here. If I set this to a crazy value, we can see that things go crazy. What's also interesting is that if you take a pop drag, this is essentially the same thing as a pop wind, except that our goal velocity is zero, zero, zero. We have the air resistance, we're trying to reach that velocity. It's pretty much the same darn thing. Now with the pop wind, if you're not familiar with the basics of uh, the parameters here, the idea is that you can specify a velocity right here in a specific direction. And then if you like, you can add a curl noise with these parameters down here. But the main thing to know is that the wind has a goal velocity. By comparison, the pop force does not. For more videos that are thorough, simplified, and straight to the point, check out cgforge.com, where you'll find resources, one-on-one -on -one consultations, and much more that's all designed to help you achieve your Houdini goals quickly. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great day.